BidenBiofeed.com. I'm Monica Ricks in New York. President Biden will touch down any minute now in Hawaii, where he's set to survey damage from deadly wildfires. County Mayor Richard Bitson confirms the death toll in Maui is 114. 27 individuals have been identified and 11 families have been notified. The FBI and Maui County Coroner are working together to identify all the recovered remains. About 850 people are still missing and frustrations growing about a lack of warning. They didn't have any messages or any warnings at all that the fire was coming until the police officer was actually in my neighborhood. I want to see changes. There needs to be a better emergency system here. President Biden will meet with some survivors like that woman and with first responders. Meantime, California is cleaning up from Hillary's L.A. Mayor Karen Bass. We prepared, we provided an emergency response, and now we take steps to survey the damage. Hillary washed out roads and shut down highways further east, but is now weakening on its way north. Fulton County has set former President Trump's bond at $200,000 ahead of his surrender this week in Georgia. The news comes as prosecutor, prosecutors push back on a request from Trump's team to delay the state trial till 2026. And on top of all of this, Trump's skipping debate day. Pierce CBS's... Scott McFarland. Citing his lead in some of the early polling, Donald Trump in a social media post indicates he will not be participating in any of the GOP primary debates. That includes the one Wednesday night in Milwaukee. A British nurse will spend life in prison for murdering babies in her care. There was a deep malevolence bordering on sadism in your actions. Judge James Goss passing the extremely rare sentence of life without parole had to doubt only the most depraved and remorseless killers. Lucy Leppe will die in prison. Vicki Barker, CBS News, London. Russia is getting back to its Soviet roots in schools. CBS's Cammy McCormick. Among the things Russian teenagers will learn how to operate and counter military drones. It's part of the curriculum in the upcoming school year. It will be offered to students 15 to 17. Some students will also learn how to handle assault rifles and hand grenades. A former NBA employee lashed out at the league by hacking its Facebook page. Here's CBS's Matt Piper. The employee called out Commissioner Adam Silver for allegedly paying social media workers less than $50,000 a year after taxes and making them work 14-hour days without any breaks. The post ended, donate to mental health causes. It stayed up on the page for about 20 minutes. The Dow lost 37 points today. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 77 degrees.